Today we're going to be talking about product variants. So I'm going to go ahead in my demo store, go directly to products, and I'm going to select this stylish blazer that I created. So let's see first of all what this looks like on the front side of Shopify currently. So we've got our stylish green blazer, comes in this price, we can add it to our cart or directly go to checkout. So let's go back and let's add some product variants. Now you might want to ask yourself what is a product variant and that's simply different versions of the same product. For example different sizes, colors, really it's, it's anything that is the same product but different options. So we're going to go ahead and say that we have different variants for this product. Now, Shopify has nicely just automatically added size for us. We could select any of these pre-made options or if we wanted to we could type in whatever we wanted. In this case I'm going to stick with size and let's say that this blazer comes in a small, medium, and large. There we go. So you can see that as I've added small, medium, and large up here, Shopify has automatically started to populate the different variants in small, medium, and large. So let's, let's uh, go a little step further and let's say that this product also comes in two different colors. So let's add another option. Oh, well, there you go. Shopify has automatically done uh, color for us. We don't need to deal too much with that. Let's say it comes in the standard green and it also comes in blue. Now you can see that when I've added the second option here, Shopify has started to go ahead and populate the different options. So small and green, small and blue, etc etc. So I'm going to give that a save there. Now let's take a look at what this looks like on the front end now. So now we've got the different drop downs for both the size as well as the color. That being said, currently we only have an image for the green suit. So let's let's add the image for the blue. So I'm just going to select this guy here. Perfect. So now if I refresh the page here, not only do we have an image for the green, but an image for the blue. So if we go down to our different variants, let's say that we want to be a little bit more professional and we want the image to automatically change from green to blue or vice versa when we change the different color options there. So if we go to the back end of our store here, let's select all of the variants that are green. We're going to go to more actions. We're going to go to add images. These are the two images that we've already put in there. If we wanted, we could add an image from our computer. Uh, but in this case, we, we've already added the media there. So we're just going to click on green and done. And there you go. All the green options now have the green suit attached to them. Now we're going to select all of the blue suits and do the exact same thing. So now we can select our blue suit here. Click done. There we go. Now let's click save and see how that's affected the front end of our, of our store. Just going to refresh the page here. So now we still have those two images that we added before, but now when we go to change the color from green to blue, bam, there you go. It automatically changes the image for the customer. Now one thing you should note is that it's currently sold out. Why is that? If we go back to our store and we go back down to our variants, we've got our different options here. The prices remain consistent, but only the first option actually has any quantity. And this is the 45 that we had in stock beforehand. So we're going to have to put in an amount for each of these different options. In this case, a, I'm just going to put in 45. But of course, you might have a different number in stock. Another thing that you should know is your product SKUs. So this is started out with our initial SKU. And each time that Shopify creates a new variant, it's going to increase that number by one. 
So you might want to keep an eye on this just to make sure that it doesn't have the same SKU number as another one of your products. So let's go ahead and save that. So now, if we wanted to get, let's say, a medium blue, now we have the options to actually add it to the cart or go directly to the checkout. There we go. So that's pretty much it in terms of variants. You can add more than two variants. You can add three. And each time you add variants, obviously it multiplies the number of options by that number of variants that you have. Looking to improve your store? Hire a geek. We offer individual store optimizations, one-on-one -on -one training, as well as workshops. Check out the description below for more information.